Today we will unboxing two MPPD solar charge controllers, they are belong to the same series and designed for RV purpose, one is 30 amp and one is 50 amp, now we see the 30 amp controller, the box is smaller than a 50 amp one, the 50 amp controller is a bit heavier. And we also take two accessories together, one is the a remote monitor, you can plug the remote monitor to the controller to realize remote controlling and modify the charge settings, works like a original screen but add more flexibly. They both had a good box's quality, and labels tell you what inside the box is, the other is the Bluetooth gadget, and can helps you control everything via Bluetooth with your phone. First we check the 30 amp controller, as you can see, it has very good packages, the paper is thick and hard, it won't damage the controller while on the shipment. Unlike the general solar controller, this series of controllers have a very good thermal design, as you can see, it is very thick cooling fins, and that is why it is very suitable for use in the vehicle's solar system. As you can see, the controller does not have many of the physical buttons and display screens that traditional controllers have, and this is one of its features, because the manufacturer took into account that once the controller is installed in the RV, you won't have to bend down to check and set up the controller. This is why it is best to buy some remote control accessories, such as Bluetooth connectors. The 50 amp controller and the 30 amp control look identical in appearance, just one size larger. They both have MPPT technology built in to help maximize your solar energy harvesting. According to the manual, they both support multiple types of battery charging, including the most popular lithium batteries nowadays. The system voltage is also automatically identified and switched, and can be used in either 12 volt or 24 volt systems. If you are using a 24 volt system, the 30 amp controller can handle up to 400 watt of solar panels and the 50 amp controller can handle up to 1400 watts of panel input. Enough for most of RV power demands, right? Now is the Bluetooth connector, which is optional and comes in a separate package. You need to pay extra to have it, but even without it the solar controller able to work smoothly because of its auto recognition feature and a small switch helps. The Bluetooth connector is also a plug and play type so you can pair Bluetooth in your phone without additional steps, but of course, you need a dedicated app for system setup. The Bluetooth version is 5.0, so you can control the controller in a distance of 50 feet long, this is enough for a RV systems. The remote screen is another optional piece it displays the same content as the screen on a solar controller and can be operated and set up with the press of a button.
It is also a plug and play type, plug directly into the controller and it lights up and starts working. The cable is also long enough to allow you to easily monitor the status of the solar controller from inside the vehicle. Thanks for watching.